We're involving the people of North Korea. People are dealing with COVID all over the world. We don't know the statistics in North Korea, and you know, we don't really know the statistics of other things, but most by this time, most people have begun to recover, and we're seeing a large amount of recovery, so we're not gonna talk about current events. But I do give you four things, people in North Korea, if you're from or if you are from North Korea, one, don't be afraid. Do not let fear seize upon you. That that restricts blood flow, that restricts, you know, emotions, that makes people go in and hide because they're in fear. You don't need to do that, especially if you have kids or if you're an elected official. You can't do that. You must be courageous. And so don't let fear seize upon you. Two, oh, well, well, fear is very bad. Stay away from fear. Don't let fear, don't let anyone intimidate you. If you have a leader that's intimidating you through fear, fear of death or whatever, you need to go ahead and take care of that. Two, this is the perfect time to make progress. If there's something you're supposed to be doing, this is the perfect time to do it now. So please, start doing it now. So by the time everybody else is able to go outside their houses this time next month, everyone's going to, you know, you will have accomplished some particular goal, whether it's reading a book, studying something, you know, working in your garden, getting closer to your family, whatever it is, make progress so you can be further off than the people who are just cowering in their houses. Three, if you are a Christian, yes, Christianity is illegal inside of North Korea, but you can still pray for your leaders. Go ahead and do that so you can lead a quiet and peaceful life according to all godliness and honesty. And if you are from North Korea and you're outside, you can pray for, you should start praying regularly for your brothers and sisters and fellow countrymen in North Korea, especially concerning this. If you are Pentecostal, you should pray through, ask God for the interpretation, like it says in 1 Corinthians chapter 14, and pray through until you get an answer from God, the note of victory, so you can uphold your family and friends and country. God is the only help. Um, and four, start looking ahead. Start planning ahead. Hey, everybody in North Korea, start planning ahead. Start, what are you going to do when you're free and you have free press and you're able to travel the world and people are, you're able to come and eat a hamburger from the United States of America and we're able to come over and have some of y'all's noodles. There's probably some awesome stuff in North Korea that y'all make and eat that, you know, the rest of the world probably doesn't even know about. So start planning and looking ahead. Start planning what you can do this summer, this fall, this winter, because that gives hope. And that gives your family hope. And start planning that too for anything. Because you're going to make it. We love you. Let me be.